An admission today from Portland's mayor weeks after those violent clashes between opposing groups across Portland. Today, Mayor Ted Wheeler admitted green lighting a hands off approach on enforcement was not the right strategy. Liz Birch has been working for weeks to get a response from the mayor's office and Liz, it's a response that's been a long time coming. Generally, it certainly is. You'll remember in a press conference three weeks ago, the police chief said you could expect not to see police in the middle of those clashes. Let's take a look at some video from those clashes right now. Those dueling demonstrations devolved into at least one person shooting a gun in broad daylight downtown. Today in a city council meeting, Mayor Ted Wheeler said that strategy of police not getting in the middle of the clashes was one he did approve. Now he says we can learn from what happened August 22nd. I take full responsibility um, on all of this. Portland is unique um, in that um, we do seem to be ground zero for alt-right groups to come into our town because they know they'll get a response, and they do. And we saw that on August 22nd. It is clear based on the public outcry, on the media outcry, on the national front, that that strategy was not the right strategy. I think we can all acknowledge that. I take full responsibility for it. I think we all acknowledge we want to do better. He went on to say he wants people to feel safe using their First Amendment rights, but also thinks we need to hold anybody who thinks violence is the answer accountable. As we told you last week, U.S. Senators Jeff Merkley and Ron Wyden, along with Representatives Suzanne Bonamici and our Blumenauer, wrote a letter to the U.S. Department of Justice asking them to investigate what they called extremist groups committing acts of violence here in Portland. I did tweet that letter if you'd like to read that full letter. Live in Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. Yeah.